Hey guys, welcome to another video on my channel. In today's video, we are going to be taking a look at some gameplay of the Inquisitor with the Ember and the Tehran build. So I have uh, two of those uh, loaded up in my lineup. Um, some of you have been asking me to do this video uh, because I guess you see me run, you know, Inquisitors in my main lineup uh, quite often. So, you know, I decided to do a separate video uh, on that uh, for you guys. And I'll give my input on, you know, how I play it, uh, what I like about it. And uh, yeah, so anyways, let's get down to uh, the commentary part of this. Um, I start off with my uh, Fury Trident here. Um, I didn't want to start off with my Inquisitor just yet. I'm going to see what... There's an Inquisitor actually on the right side. So you can see this guy in action here. Uh, he's got the Ember and uh, Punishers. I haven't actually run that build. Um, I do know that the uh, Ember and Tehrans can be very deadly. That's why I run two of them. But uh, let, me, let me move to uh, this side here. Let's see if he managed to... I'm just looking around to see where everyone is uh, spawning in at. And uh, we've got a hover here. I'm going to hit him with my tridents. What is he doing? Oh, yikes. Wonder Babies. I think that was a guy's name. Or um, female player? I don't know. Don't want to discriminate. There's some very good um, female players in this game. Definitely can't count them out. So yeah, I'm going to I'm going to run my inquisitor when the time is right, when I need to clear out an area especially. So let me just try to get as much damage in with this fury as I possibly can. Some of you may be wondering, you know, why am I running the fury trident? Uh, other than me getting some more variety in my lineup, uh, one reason why is because a lot of players are starting to run Balkazaris uh, with shock trains and this is actually a very good counter to that. So I'm trying to fire in between those two players. So I'm looking to see what's going on. Um, let me just spawn in here. I'm going to jump just so that I can go into uh, stealth here because I just spawned in. And uh, this player was here. So let me try to see if I can take him out. And then I'm going to get behind uh, cover. So when it comes to using the Inquisitor, when you do use your jump, try to make sure that you are near cover because uh, once you run out of that stealth, you are very, very vulnerable. So you can see here, I'm kind of sticking to cover. I'm also looking to see who I can... This, uh, my teammate here needs help, so let me see if I can try to help him out. Getting hit by uh, shock trains. Okay, I'm just looking to see the um, distance here. Okay, so we have a player here. I'm going to jump now, and I'm going to go into a stealth. This guy doesn't see me yet. We can take him out. And I'm going to get behind cover. So I'm looking at uh, you know my timer. So one second, and now I'm uh, vulnerable. So I'm staying behind cover here, keeping my range. And I'm going to use my uh, M, but try to see if I can take out that Balkazari. Trying to get that damage in, but trying to stay behind cover. There's also a player to my right side. I can see um, a triangle there. I'm not sure how. Oh, he got taken out. So I'm going to move a little bit to the uh, right side here. I'm going to lock onto this player because this player is going to be... They're going to be above. So let's see if I can try to take him out. Oh, almost, almost. And I'm going to move to the side here because, like I said, you always want to stay in your cover. And quite often, this is how I play most of my bots. Um, it's not just the Inquisitor, but the Inquisitor especially because, um, you know, once you get out of that stealth, you are very, very vulnerable. And uh, something that you do have to keep in mind. And um, this guy is going to get... Uh, he's almost taken out. So I'm not going to use my jump uh, for him. So let me just take a look. 590, 100. How far is this guy? This guy is actually 200. So I've got to be careful of him. We also have another player here who's trying to get our beacon. So we want to take care of him. Or I should say her. Him or her. So when do I use the Inquisitor? I think is going to be another, you know, question that a lot of players... So look what I'm doing here. I'm waiting to for this person to get out of their stealth and then I'm going to hit them. I'm going to go into a stealth now so that they can't hit me. 
we go. Quite often I use my Inquisitor when I need to say clear out an area. Uh, for example, uh, how you saw me do, or at least uh, take out that player back there. Or if I need to get a key beacon, I find the Inquisitor actually very effective at uh, doing that. Uh, this player is getting very close, so I'm going to back up here. I'm going to buy myself enough time because I'm waiting for that stealth. And uh, I think they have another player. Yeah, there is another player here. But this is the one that's going to be the bigger threat. Okay, so here we go. I had a feeling he might have been in a hitchy. So he is trying to hit me, but some of his rounds are missing. Oh, I gotta get behind cover. Actually, wait. I can still take, uh, do some damage to this player. This game is almost over, so what I'm probably going to do is I'm going to run another game. And uh, that way I can showcase, hopefully, both of my Inquisitors, even though it is the same build. Uh, so that's pretty much how I play my Inquisitor. You know, very cautiously, and you can see a lot of that damage was done uh, with my Inquisitor there. So as I said, you know, play very cautiously. you got to play it very similar to a Griffin, and in a way, almost like a Carnage too. But uh, let's go ahead and let's run uh, game number two. Hopefully we get a different map, uh, maybe a more open map so you can see how I adjust my strategy uh, by sticking to more of the covered areas. Okay, so game number two, we have landed in on Canyon map, uh, which is more wide open than Moon map. So this is going to be interesting to see how this uh, works out here. Oh gosh, man. That guy just got hit by six Zeus. <laughs> See if we can focus down some of these players here on the left side. And uh, what we are running right now, oh my gosh, maybe not six Zeus, maybe nine Zeus. What does this guy have behind me? Zeus as well. Uh, so we have the perfect counter to the Hechi robot um, for anyone who's kind of wondering, you know, what to run. If you want to counter the Hechi, run Zeus. We've uh, got a couple of other players back here who have the Hechi, I believe. I think this one here that I'm focusing down. No, that was actually a Balkazari, but he got hit really bad. Wow. And we do have a Hechi here on the left side, so let's try to focus uh, him down. And we have another one here. Let's hit this player. Try to go for that uh, Fury. So when it comes to actually running the Inquisitor, I want to try to gravitate towards covered areas because you don't want to sit out into the open um, only as a last resort, you know, like if you have no choice <laughs> because you're attacking someone, then that's different. But if you're trying to uh, take out the enemy, you know, and you have the time, try to plan out ahead of time if you can. I'm trying to see if I can take out that player. Uh, we do have, uh, what is this guy? I think he's in a Balkazari or something. I'm trying to, trying to hit his shield to wear it down. Yep, looks like we've got a Lancelot back there too. Come on. Surprised I wasn't able to fire a lot sooner because he was within range. I'm going to try focus down this Lancelot here to at least try to break down his uh, shield a bit for my teammates. And I think I might have broken it. Kind of looks like it's broken. Yep. I think this one is in a Fury, not sure, let's try to get some damage in on that player. So you can see what's happening here, this uh, Inquisitor jumped in and was able to take me out using that stealth. I'm gonna jump here so that this player can't hit me, he overextended himself too. 
I'm gonna focus him down first because he's gonna be my uh, biggest threat. This one, not so much. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to sort of gravitate towards cover. And you can see that other player that was in an Inquisitor back there, he's also sticking to cover. And uh, we have another player here. But I'm waiting until he overextends himself so that he can't get uh, to cover. Uh, here's another one. So I'm going to take uh, this guy out. And he can't hit me because I'm in stealth. And you can see I'm still in stealth and my stealth just wore out. So it was enough to actually uh, take him out. And again, I'm sticking to cover. I'm playing, um, playing the map uh, to my advantage. I uh, take him out there keeping an eye on my right side too yeah, this player's got 300 meter range on me so I've got to make sure that I stick out of uh, that range if I can Uh, this player has aphids, I believe, so I'm moving sideways to avoid getting hit. You know, the full hit uh, from that player. So I managed to do a decent amount of damage uh, with my Inquisitor there. I'm going to, I'm going to drop into my uh, second one now. And uh, see if I can maybe help my teammates uh, deal with this player here. There's a couple of them that are uh, moving to our right here as well. So I think what I'm actually going to do is... First of all, I've got to keep my distance from this player that has aphids. I'm going to just actually fire all my rounds first. And then I'm going to get behind cover. Because these guys are within striking range of me, but I'm also within 350 of them. So now I'm going to jump and I'm going to try to see if I can take this guy out. So that he can't escape. And uh, this one overextended himself. So I'm hitting him and then I'm going to move back. This Galahad, I think he sees the uh, the target on the uh, right side. So I'm going to try to take uh, him out. And then I'm going to move back uh, to cover once again. Empty my rounds. I now have my jump. So this is going to help a lot uh, with the next engagement here. Uh, let me lock onto this uh, player. I'm going to jump now so that he can't escape. Come on, switch. I figured I might as well target down that Balkazari back there. Because he's uh, he's almost taken out. Let's try to get uh, an angle in on this player here at center. And that should do it. Oh, just barely. And <laughs> then I got taken out by pins. But uh, that's... That's pretty much how you want to play uh, the Inquisitor. So now you've uh, seen me play it on Moon Map and on Canyon, which is more open. Uh, you'll see that I play it. I always try to gravitate towards uh, covered areas because it is more of an ambush bot. Like I said, it's very similar to playing the Griffin, uh, very similar to playing uh, the Carnage in a way. Um, you know, you stick to cover and then when you are within that striking range that's when you jump out uh, you do your damage get behind cover once again Let's see if i can take this player out there we go and i think that should be the last player just waiting for um the rewards at the end see how well we uh, stacked up so uh, there you go 1.4 million uh, damage uh, using those two inquisitors but yeah what do i love about the inquisitor so i love the fact that uh, you can jump in um, you have that stealth ability and you can do a ton of damage but you're also very vulnerable once that stealth wears off so i love um, the balance that they've done uh, with the inquisitor um, i love uh, running the ember and the tyrant build specifically um, because i run two of those in my main hangar when i am running like with my clan and stuff uh, because it does a ton of damage. I have tried Orkins and the Thunder, which I'll probably do videos on as well, but 
so far my favorite is the Ember Anterons. And uh, yeah, that pretty much sums it up. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to hit that thumbs up. If you haven't yet subscribed, consider subscribing for more War Robots content. Until the next video, I'll catch you guys later.